Hey, Lulane. Sorry, late because I uh, I woke up a little late. I might change the song. It's not about the vocals in this. Uh, don't. Don't do it for me. Yeah, I... Ugh, I'm tired. I slept really weird last night. I slept for like three hours, woke up, was up for another three hours, and then slept for four hours. Thank you. 
I also changed the uh, title of the stream ever so slightly. Because I felt like it. How dare you, Chachi? How dare you? Because they're desperate, Wang. They're desperate. I, I know, you start to slur real bad when you get real tired, Chachi. I'm just used to it, is the problem. <sighs> okay, but Wang, I felt this one was really fitting, okay? Like, it's a fucking SMT game. Okay. But, uh... Ugh. Yeah, I got up, like, an hour ago. So I'm still waking up. You gotta forgive me. Now they said I got some real, real weird sleep. Oh, also, I forgot. I was going to set up an image, and then I forgot to set up the image. What are any of these set to? Okay, are you the one I want? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, uh, time to uh, be beholden to the whims of the date, though, once more. Thank you, phone, for immediately going off the second I turn you on. You cannot be trusted. Have I ever told you how much I love that? If you have Twitch on your phone, it feels compelled to inform you that you're online. Also, hey, Lola. So today, chat... Oh... Oh, we're in a weird spot today. Okay. Well, don't know how to deal with that one. Uh, sorta, I know what I mean, WoW's also been hemorrhaging players. Uh, because of a lot of questionable design decisions and also it's fucking old. Also Blizzard, but honestly, I think that factors in a little less to most people. Please, game, what do you want from me? So I'm in this awkward situation, everyone. Uh, because my goal for today, uh, I've already completed. Because this is what I was supposed to get today. Laid. We already got laid. It's a real fucked up situation all around. What was I looking for? Ah oh, yes, time to blow all my money on fucking Margaret. Margaret's one expensive bitch, goddamn. That lady, she hungers for money. You know what? No, 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 no. I know what I'm doing. You see, there's a few things I have never actually done so far. And you know what? I may as well do it. Also, let's go check out Krakow first. 
Uh, they're not paywalled behind the Battle Pass, uh, Anora. They're part of the free Battle Pass, from what I saw. Ooh. Uh, I can't get the bait yet, Blue Lane. I don't have the, uh, the net. I was going to get the net tonight, is the problem. It's uh, the, kind of the big issue at the moment. Ah, uh, the boiled dog. Okay, so there's a few things I haven't done yet. What do you want? Uh, the butterfly net is part of a tiny side quest to, uh, get, get the net. So, Cafe Chagall. Let's have some coffee. We, uh, 100% don't need it, but I'm getting the Chivo. Are you telling me this? What are you talking about? You might be right, Alulain. It might be the Persona 3 Towers brother. I hope he's doing alright. Instead, your mouth is getting numb. But now it's... It's sharply acidic, yet the body is full and rich with sweet undertones. This flavor, it's bold. Too bold. Uh-oh. You're swept up in a black torrent of flavors, you desperately reach towards something and grasp it. I got the Dia skill card, okay. Judging by the current time of day, it appears that you lost consciousness. Play it. Must return home. So yeah, uh, skill card shit. I don't really care about it, and we never really will. Cycle saves. I don't like being in the house. I don't like like the home alone theme. It just it feels it feels kind of lonely. That's pretty much Italy Lane. Like it's it's wastes so much time. And I I genuinely don't understand the point of it. It's not particularly good. I guess it's the only real way of guaranteeing skill cards, but it's not good. <laughs> Exactly, Wang. No Dojima to, you know, pal around with, you know, Nanako to say, welcome home, big bro. It's, it's not the same. It's just, it's not. Don't hit good. Don't hit good. Hello, ghost mom. I will break you, bitch. I will snap you over my fucking knee. I'm 
chat. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here. Up in here. I feel like I should have a separate capture built just for this fucking tool. Cause I- I'm gonna let you on a secret chat, I've lost my patience. What are you classified as? You are classified as a fish? The Genji Ayu. Do I have any other fish on me? Uh, I have a Genji Ayu now. Wow, that's funny. Wow, I just, I reload time and suddenly there's a fish in my pants. How'd that get there? I can't believe it, chat. Where did this pants fish come from? How did this get here? I went to the wrong place. Chat, how did I get this pants fish? Hey, Dementian. What do I do to get this fucking net? Ugh, fuck me. I am almost debating breaking the game over my knee and just adding the fucking net to my inventory because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. He's just like, hey, you want to learn how to catch bugs? Oh my god, did I fuck up a quest? So apparently when you give her the goldfish, she's supposed to say, Hey, did you see that, uh... Did you see that net on the roof? And if you say yes, yeah, she'll be like, oh, you, you get it. And, but... I got the butterfly catching net. Nah, it just means I might need to do some highly illegal shit, Wang. Profoundly illegal shit. Unforgivably illegal shit, which is adding key items to my inventory. Whatever, I... You would never betray me. 
Uh, you you appreciate me when nobody else does. Let's hang for a little bit. Thank you, I. It's, it's great, the date note never mentioned getting the bug catching net. I seems bored, she might appreciate it if you talk to her. And we got Suiki, so let's let's just vibe with I. <laughs> the old one, Alulane. Thank you! I mean, why don't you do it next time, I? Well, chat, which do we want? Do we-, do we I mean, okay, let's be real. Ask man's actual answer. You know what, valid. Don't worry about it. Deal with it, chump. You and I got better acquainted over small talk. Feel your relationship with I has grown stronger. Oh, we got a sincerity cookie! And yeah, Lulane, I'm pretty See sure I followed the guide, but apparently I fucked something up. What's up, I? No! It's it's fine. I think you're great, I, but also I'm busy. need to go into town, but I want to look at something. Whatever, Wang. But first... <gasps> Doggo! Doggo! Extremely angry for some reason. What should you do? Glare at it. Try talking to it. Sticks here. Familiar dog took what you gave and ran off. Will it be less wary of you next time? Try coming back another day. I I want one of your burnt ass skewers. Thank you. We are befriending a dog through its stomach. Bugs have gathered around the tree. We got perfect timing. How many bugs did you catch? 
We're looking for a specific book. Yes! Okay, we got what we needed. Uh, so we had the net. Um, the guide is just poorly written. The guide was telling me to go bug catch at night. Let's leave the shopping district. And go hang out with the person we're supposed to hang out with today. So yes, it's fine everyone, the guide is just poorly written. Senpai? No, I, I'm not talking to Marie today. Oh my god, stop saying the same thing over and over again. I know that you're sad that Nanako's in the hospital. I get it. God! Uh, Naoto, you're crushing my nuts! Naoto, we were supposed to become better friends today. Why you gotta do me dirty like this? Hmm? Why you gotta be like this, Naoto? Naoto, you, you're killing me! You're killing me now, Toe. I just... I don't know what this guide expects from me. I'm so confused every time I use it. I hate this game. This game blows hot ass, and anyone who plays it is the worst, except for me. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much exactly it, what Alulane said, and it's uh, annoying. Because, like, look at things like Chie for some reason. No, not Chie. Who was at 140? Some loser was at 100. Yeah, Chie's at 140. Yosuke's at 122 because we we use them all the time. And like I had Thor when we completed the previous thing. It's just really frustrating. Uh so where are you, you can't see it, but just know that I said that. 140 for Chie, who's rank 10, I might add, so it's useless. 122 for Yosuke, who's also rank 8, not so it's useful. It's just really frustrating. Yukiko is at affinity 68. No, persona matching is bad. It's legitimately bad in my opinion. Uh, and I, I genuinely think these games would be better without the persona matching. Even just that. Just the persona matching is fine. Like, being gone. Where are you, Nato? Okay. Yeah, fuck this. 40. You're, you're 40 now, Naoto. Treasure it. Yeah, I really, I really should, Wang, but this, it's not that interesting. I'll set it up quick, though. Because, let's see, what are you? Filters. I'll change you to you. He's like, ah, fuck, what are you set to? Is it this? This is what you'd be seeing. It's it's very exciting. Also, why aren't you working right? Why don't you want to cooperate? OBS is killing me.
Uh, yes, but to get the best ending, you need to. <clears throat> yeah, God. Shit in my throat. Did I load my game? But yeah, you need to beat the bonus dungeon to get the best ending. It's great. Hey, now, Toad, you little shit. I've got the numbers. Let's go. Senpai? I'm just trying to make you feel better. Oh, thank God. It is, it is considered to be the best ending. If you think it's the best ending or not, it's very different. Yes. No. Phantom Thief is a common moniker. I'm sorry to tell you this, Wang. Yeah, it looks happy. Central Shopping District. He went out to search for the Phantom Thief based on the information she gathered. And Nocturne's best ending, which is not being a coward. I need to. Uh, do, do, do. Wait. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, I've made mistakes. I didn't- I wasn't supposed to do- I misread the day. This- you see this? Gone. In an instant. Oopsie whoopsie, I made a bit of a fucky wucky. Can't stress again. No. Oops. Fuck you, Wang. Blow it out your ass. That's right, blow it out your ass. Okay. Oh. It is time to vibe. Sure. I look almost happy. Yes, I got me high shoe lockers. Decided to go to Okina Station with high. Someone else approached I.
Sir, I keep a sword under this uniform, I will have you know. Looks so good. You feel I is in danger. Maybe. Just a little bit. Perhaps a teensy bit. You may be right. laughing to hide you or her embarrassment. Nerd. It'll be fine. Is laughing a spider soul and cheek. Oh, come on. Rank nine. I'd create personas. Yay! Fly at school in hard ways after walking home. A oh, pretty fucking hard wang. <gasps> oh my god, it's time. Uh, something like that, maybe? I don't quite remember, because I is... I is a special case. Okay, now, Toe, I got you a gift. See that Amaterasu fob? You don't need it. You get the race embrace. No, girlfriend tier is either eight or nine, usually. Usually nine. Uh, the ra okay, I'll show you what the brace does. Here's what it does. All stats are increased by four. I mentioned it yesterday. Or the previous stream, depending on when you're watching. I know not everyone watches these live, which is fine. Bit of sworn I mentioned what it did yesterday. So yes, I misread the day as the 17th, not the 16th. 
Because here's what we were supposed to do this evening. Uh, cry. Alright, yeah, I, I have the bugs. Okay. Hello, Nato. Senpai! Same, I didn't expect to see me at this hour either. Nato seems bored. She might appreciate it if you talk to her. <sighs> Nato seems happy. You won. Um. Now to sighing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Enjoyed your idle chat with Nauto. Oh. Please accept it. Ooh, caramel. Let's see, we got the Good love night. marshmallow. We got the sincerity cookie and the caramel drop. They all fit the same niche. Over here, so it's talking. She just hands you a Werther's original. <laughs> Fucking Shrike, I'm glad you thought the same thing. But man, she does live with her grandpa. You don't know how many Werther's originals she has stocked up? Congrats. First you get the bride pissed drunk and the groom. Oh, I, I'm ma'am. Ma'am, please, you're projecting really hard. Come a little closer to Yosuke. Your expression. Why do any of these stats matter at this point? The rules are fake and the numbers don't matter. Senpai. I will decide later. I need oh. to bug catch, Nauto. I know you wouldn't understand the sophisticated sport of bug catching, but... Hey, I. 
I'm busy. Catching bugs. What will you do after school? Catch bugs. Yes, Wang Nato has a wallet chain. She's kind of a dork. Please, please strike. Bug catching is something you do by yourself. Other people will only hinder you. They could make noise, they could be distracting, who knows. But you only bug catch by yourself. Anything else is unprofessional. It's like you've never caught bugs before. Bugs is still wary of you, but it seems you've calmed down a little. Wait, I thought I... Enjoy this steak skewer. If a your dog ate what you gave it without paying you any mind. Oof. Seems to no longer be wary of you. You should try coming back another day. Hell yeah. Oh no, Nato strikes me more as the pretending it tries really hard to pretend it doesn't bug her, but it definitely bugs her. Also, I can totally imagine I being like completely fine with bugs. Especially now that she's mellowed out. How many bugs did we catch? Eat a jewel beetle. That's a Hima, Ina Bejewel Beetle. Look, maybe I would have screamed before when we barely knew her, you know, to keep up appearances. But, like, I feel like she doesn't give a shit. Let's see. Let's make a hot save. Whoops. Don't mind me, Yumi. You keep dealing with your dying dad. I'm busy. Solving mysteries. Sucks to be you, Yumi. Later, bitch. You're right, actually. The less I talk to Yumi, the longer her dad lives. We've already gone over this. Spend time with Naoto. Naoto's happy, yada yada. Phantom Thief, yada yada, looking for new place to hide, yada yada. Oh man. Let's see. Please, Wang. You know full well the way she'll get over it, and it's not from him being dead. I mean, you seem happy. Huh? Um... 
Ah, yes, neutral, like a proper SMT character. A wry smile appeared on Nato's face. Two remaining things the Phantom Thief has stolen. I, you know. Anime figures. I mean, almost. The Demi Fiend is definitely not neutral. The Demi Fiend fucks. Tatsuhime Shrine. A man brandished a knife. Let's protect Naoto, I guess, even though I'm pretty sure she can Senpai. handle herself better than us. And dropped the knife and ran away. I'm sorry, what? It's fine, I've got two kidneys for a reason. I'm going to be able to, I'm going to have to answer with like the worst answer possible, aren't I? No! What? What is this timing? Well, chat. Because I love you. Neto's face is bright wet. Bright wet. Um. Yes. Is it serious if there are like, I think three others at the moment? Maybe four. I don't quite remember. No, uh, Marie's not. Is she? Fuck. That's four then. Uh, cause there's also Rise. <laughs> S Man cannot be stopped, Neren. We didn't fit. Well, I mean, maybe we finished Rise, but we didn't finish the Rise social link. Since affection from now to a different kind than before. Oh, we're, we're rank eight. Ooh. Oh shit. Holy shit. He right. Okay, it can be any ally. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do I get rid of for Heat Riser? Oh, goodbye, Invigorate. Hello, Heat Riser. Beautiful, beautiful Heat Riser. Who cares about this feeling shit? Now to got Heat Riser. Okay, bye. No, there's still one more tool. And it's me. Okay, bye. Yeah, I don't know why. Why does she keep getting heat riser? It's real fucked up. 
Okay, okay, so Wang, they get the skills no matter what, it's based on the rank of the social link. It's, you know, all hot and bothered. You watched Nato run off and went home by yourself. I wasn't expecting Heat Riser, holy shit! Also, I am worried because weird things have been laggy, and guess what, chat? I have been having blue screens lately. And that frightens me. It frightens me because I don't have the money to replace my computer. What do we do tonight? Tutoring, okay. I might need to, Wang, you're right. issue too is I don't know the source of the blue screens but like I left my computer on overnight and apparently it blue screened because when I came back it was a uh, login screen where am I going Time to tutor. And thanks to the power of Kukulain, we can tutor. Thank you, Kukulain. Thank you. Uh. Uh, yeah? Um, wait. Chat, I was just supposed to tutor today. This is... This is not what I was supposed to do. This is supposed to be a normal evening of tutoring. What is this drama shit? And the answer is she probably failed a class. I'm sorry. She's voice is trembling. Okay, but this wasn't even reality crimes. I've never used the Manchu. Go home. Cause you should just go home today. Glad to go home. What happened with Shu? Okay, it was a normal day of tutoring. So what do we do today? Today is the 18th. Oh, I know what we're doing today. Okay. Oh, this is gonna blow ass. But there's nothing to it but to do it. Because it's raining, Wang. When it rains, all the music disappears so you can listen to the rain. Oh, hey, it's the, the gas station attendant with the voice and the unique model. Okay, later. So we're going to the Samagawa floodplain. Because we've got work to do today, chat. Ah, oh, shit, you're right, Shrike. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so chat, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I hate fishing mini games. It's true, Wang. Man, I love fishing. Oh, I have a save. I, I made a save before coming here. Cast or pass. Got him. I didn't want the huge fish. Don't want the huge fish. Is it a huge fish? <gasps> yes! We did it. Look at this difference in level. Look at this difference in playtime. Okay, let's see. So today, we're gonna be a janitor. Why, I don't know. Like, legitimately, I don't understand some of the reasoning of this guide. It is, it is a mystery to me. I guess it's something to do. So I had to work at the hospital. Inima Municipal Hospital. Empty hospital room. You busily cleaned the recently vacated hospital room. Feel someone watching you. So I had to pretend not to notice and continue cleaning. I didn't need a courage increase. We got 80 bucks. I don't need the stats and I've got a bunch of money. Hey chat, it's almost time for the most important day of the week, Sunday, when we can buy from the Home Shopping Channel. It is 100% filler. We are reaching the point where the days start to get a little bit looser. Sorry about the god Jove who takes leave. Didn't I already take Risa here? Oh, I, I, oh, I, fucking, whoops. 
Oopsies. Uh oh. I preempted the date note because I had free time. Oops. Oopsie whoopsie, I made a bit of a fucky wucky. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else to do here. Let's just gaze out at the sea. Yeah. Gaze out at the waves that wash and recede. Something inside of you has changed. Why do I have you equi- wait, what? Did you just learn panic boost over your level ability? What? So to go home. I'm confused. That was the most worthless ability I could have gotten. We we own the moped, Marathian. Uh, that was Dojima's moped from his uh punk days, let's say. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, so that is that is ours to own. See? Right here. Yeah, honestly, I think it looks pretty nice. What do you mean what am I supposed to be doing? Thank you, Kukulain. Let work as a tutor today. Did you fail a class? She says nothing for a while. Are you a dumbass? The awkward silence continues. Are you stupid? Uh, so, Elaine, the reason I skipped out on, uh, on, on Rise, the, the movie with Rise, is because I already saw the movie with Rise on a free day. Today's date is circled on the calendar. Happy birthday. <laughs> There's nothing to be happy about the day I was born. She looks ready to cry. That's because your mom's kind of a bitch. She looks sad. Have a grand celebration. Let's throw a birthday party for you. First you need. Cake. Only one place springs to mind. Uh, Juness. Oh, oh no, we're buying one of those. Ugh. I gotta call Yosuke. Hey Yosuke, we're throwing a party. Get some fucking cake! Which, I mean, will be a struggle because there's not really any around here, but still. Gotta wait for Yosuke to arrive. She was in total shock. 
<laughs> See, it seems you've gathered everybody. And I mean everybody. Sheesh. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. We wish it was our birthday so we could party too. I don't remember the rest. And we could have at least called Marie. She was still in shock. You see, because this, this game takes place in 2008, uh, while, you know, I forget who it was, but somebody still held the, uh, happy birthday, uh, the rights to it. <laughs> okay, but, like, blowing on the candles is very unsanitary. gonna get spit all over the cake, it's gonna be gross. It was Warner? Okay. <laughs> and that's what blowing out the candles does in Erin. Who killed whom? Cell phones not have like backlights. I'm glad Naren thought the same thing. Like you're killing me. You kidding? I mean, yes, but Blue Lane, those flip phones had backlights. Like, this is 2008, it's not that long. Because this place is haunted as shit. Sorry, Chi, being in the primal ones of youth, you say it like, what, 17? Ah, oh, yes, Marathian. Naoto pulls out the Doom 3 shotgun, the greatest shotgun of them all. Yukiko smiles gently at Chu. Kid, that's a real fucking heavy question to ask. She mumbles to himself. She was surprised. No, oh, Darren, you see the biological imperative. Oh, 
Also, once again, Anora, like, to hang out with our cool Healy Fox, we need to fish. So really, we're here at the party, but we're wishing we were fishing. You're damn right, Naren. Already live enough at this point. Getting late, so everyone went home. You what? She begins to cry. It's his party, and he can cry if he wants to. Oh. Oh. Yeah, your mom is kind of overbearing, dude. Oh. I was like, what's that weird thing I'm feeling? And apparently I was poking Ollie. Okay, that's fucked up to say. I mean, so now the problem is his mom is incredibly overbearing in... in a way that... I would say is abusive. She begins to sob. Let's soothe them. Can't just sit here and watch this. Gently soothed Shu. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Your mom being a bitch? Yep. Without a doubt, the classic gifted kid burnout. I know what that feels like. He was number one! Not a whole damn lot. I'm scared. Yep. No, I, I understand completely, Shu. It's fine. It's not fine, but it's understandable. It's fine. You felt cornered. You just need to learn to lie better, that's all. She won't stop crying. Mister. He tries to get his emotions under control. Feel your relation to- yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shoo, come with me. We're gonna eat a fuckload of beef bowls so you can become a god. No social situation will be a problem for you, just you see.
Left Shoe's house and went home. Rain doesn't seem to be letting up. Your day off from school today. Time to wait for Nanako's recovery. Ah, <gasps> oh, forbid. God forbid. That day again, everyone. Everyone's favorite day of the week. Us and our ten intense addiction to QVC. Angel skirt, okay. Mm. I need to check out what the angel skirt does, because somas are just plain good. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Persona 3 can basically do that if you're good enough at it. Fucking person games. Let's see, Angel Skirt is very good. Uh, it's so good that you technically can't get it until the next dungeon. So it would also uh, demolish. I mean, you really, I mean, obviously you don't want to do single day Tartarus, that's incredibly tedious, but you can do it. To, to declare, like, to answer what Wang said, like, you can do the single day Tartarus. It's just miserable. <laughs> okay, so the angel skirt's very good. It also has 30 evade. I know, right, Marathi? It's real fuck. Fuck my savings. Because, yeah, so the angel skirt is the thing you can get in golden chests in the next dungeon. Spoilers, there's another dungeon after this, because we, we very obviously haven't solved the mystery. Fuck my money! So today... It's a good skirt, Wang. Also, women's clothing is expensive. Not that expensive, but it is expensive. It's it's fine, Anora. Wang wouldn't understand. I it can be expensive, but clothes in general can get that expensive. Okay, yeah, so today is a simple day. Also, an important thing to note about the, uh, okay, so let's see, what are our current defensive items? Let's look at Chie to compare. So, Chie's current, uh, gear is 240. 
Uh, the angel skirt is about a little over 280, and it has 30 evasion. It's very good. Let's invite a friend to the movies. Today we're inviting Naoto. Yeah, girl, you best move fast. I'm gonna eat so much popcorn. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's gonna be fucking soaked in that shitty movie theater butter. It's gonna be great. Huh? Let's go. You and Nato take in a movie together. Your heart fluttered watching an elegantly spun love story unfolding in the city of Rome. You enjoyed watching the movie with Nato. Some sight of Nato changed your response to the movie. It okay. Uh, it's super weird they get stat bonuses from that shit. That wasn't bad. I wouldn't mind doing that again. Hint, hint. We did it. And now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Seems the fog will set in tonight. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's go watch the TV. It's midnight. The fog is set in. No one is appearing on the in the night channel. Nanako has been rescued and you were able to ca arrest the culprit. Cat arrest. Uh, there's probably no need to watch the midnight channel anymore. Really? You really think it's that easy? Fog is covering the town. Whoop. That's a lot of fog. Holy shit. The fog from yesterday is still there this morning. Also kind oh, of a gross green. Take a look at this. Namatame is in today's paper. Front page's headline article says that Namatame is regaining consciousness. Like, there's a so lot of questions. Over. And also, we never asked him about the whole savior thing. What was he saving people from? Why was he saving, saving them? How did he think he was saving them? Yeah, seriously. I wish we could have done it sooner. Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? Why was he specifically... So chilly. <sighs> specifically basing it off people he saw on TV. It rarely gets this cold in November. Oh, hey, Dachi. Oh, it's you guys. Is it time to talk about murder? Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako-chan. So she's getting a little better. Thank goodness. 
Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about him. How's Namatame doing? He's regained consciousness, but it's hard to say. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together a story. This is still a secret, but I guess it's okay to tell you guys. You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano and Miss Konishi in it. I mean, I'm not surprised considering he slept with both of them. Looks like Namatame. Oh wait, Saki. Saki Konishi. Never mind. The first lady, though. First lady was the one he cheated on his wife with. That son of a bitch. But he never said what the yeah, entries were well, about. I'm gonna head to the hospital now. I okay. The advances on Miss Konishi. I. I don't know about that one. Dojima-san's recovering too, so I need to go over a few things about this case with him. Yosuke. Sorry. I'm all right. Namatame's been caught. He can't hurt anyone now. But forget him. Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. Let's tell the others once we get to school. Oh boy. Can't skip school now and we got finals coming. Miss Sofoy, stop it. This isn't lecture intently. Your knowledge increased, not that it mattered. Nanako, everyone's here to see you. <laughs> Wake up, child. Talking still seems painful for her. Nevertheless, Nanako looks happy. Dojima-san! Ugh, how many times does this make it today? Ma'am, I'm sorry he cares about his daughter. I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest, too. <clears throat> sorry. You were in a pretty nasty car accident. Um, are your injuries that bad? Hmm. Well, my wounds have just closed up, and it seems I have a couple of fractures as well. I'm sorry. I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. Okay, you know what? Let's not call it a car accident, because it was very deliberate. What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. I'm here. Yeah, I'm so glad. Just remember, if there are any long lasting effects from this, I will find the killer and fucking break their spine over my knee. Nanako closed her eyes with a relieved expression. She seems to have fallen asleep. Oh. You receive an explanation concerning Nanako's condition from the doctor. Whoops. Her condition is stable for now, but uh, I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but we still can't figure out the cause of Nanako-chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. 
Adachi, how's it going with Namatami? Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I see. I should get back to work as soon as you possible. You really shouldn't. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. Um, I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out, and there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. A massive fart from God. It's true. The number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased. I'm surprised you're not calling it smog. Which is quite unusual. Isn't that just a rumor? I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. It certainly could be a psychological effect. People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems. But as far as the fog's chemical makeup, well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is that transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. Fog-related health problems. Oh, that's just ridiculous. A fart! Anyone who says that is just blowing smoke. Blowing fart! I think I somehow regain consciousness, but it seems that it will take more time until she fully recovers. Now Matame's interrogation has finally begun. Fog won't lift in people's mysterious health problems. For now, it seems that you can only watch and wait to see how things will turn out. Isn't this weather strange? How could it be lasting so long? I've never seen anything like I, it. I remember this fog being more yellow in the Vita version. I wonder what's causing it. It's so creepy. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. I heard something, too. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident. It, it really does, Lulane, and without getting too much into it, I still find the reason very dumb. What? Did he lose control? Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before, so something seems off. Isn't that scary? Congrats, the fog makes people worse. I've even heard there are experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Do you think it's, you know, because of that global warming It's thing? It's true. Global warming caused the fart to rise from the ground and the almighty stank is driving everyone mad. This town's changed a lot over the years. I wish the government would step in and do something about this. Do what? Shoot the fog? Oh, I agree completely. If we're going to pay taxes, I expect the authorities to do Ow! their jobs. This fog is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Your mom's filled with viruses. Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! He's not the first one like that I've seen lately. Poisonous gas, though? The fog. Oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh my. I... I think I'm coming down with something. Oh no, I've got you, the vapors. You can't be serious. <laughs> oh, that's right. I needed to do some grocery shopping. Well then. <laughs> that was Business weird. Business has been so slow lately.
Thank you, Grandma, for your, your takeaway from all this. house still lonely so let's leave the house I don't like being in lonely house see I as a person like to be alone but like the house in this is just like kind of depressing Sorry, I'm trying to hear more of the ambient track. Because I thought there might be more to it, but no, it seems like it's a relatively short loop. Senpai. Yeah, let's spend the evening at Risa. Hi, Risa. Oh fuck, the cricket in my room's going at it again. <laughs> yeah, Kanji's a cool dude. What do you mean girl stuff? Anyone can sew. Is just too good. Huh? You say it's full of energy. Oh, he's definitely embarrassed. He kind of sucks with people, but girls especially. You enjoyed your idle chat with Risa. When you look at the time, she says pulling out her watch and it just says cloud stank. I want you to have it. Ooh. Sometime. You know, it's a real missed opportunity to just, you know, not have Rise give us tofu. But I'm I'm always down for flan. Right, my crippling flan addiction. Good night, Senpai. Why would Risa I'm at home? You ever hear students talking? Is there always, every time we have one of these scenes, that one kid running by to signal the end of the scene? It's a book of maps, in it? Give the correct answer. Uh, tragically, Enora, the, the fog is dumb. 
y you gave the correct answer. Knowledge has increased. I love twiddling my fucking thumbs. Also, we finally have a day where it isn't raining. I mean, sort of not in, but also let's not worry about that. I miss your affection in Heartbeat Heartbreak. I don't want to think of the rod as you. That just makes me uncomfortable. Well, that's you, Alulane, and not me. And now it is time to once again collect bugs. Right, yeah. Okay, so now... I need to go back to the old man. I fucked up. I mean, I did catch the River Guardian. What makes you think this thing's any more special? He's the Sea Guardian, the Guardian of the Sea. Poseidon quivers before him. Okay, so next, what we want to do... is get some Genji Beetles. I, I don't have the Sea Guardian, Max. I haven't done any sea fishing. None of those are what I want. No, never mind. I have three Genji Beetles. It's whatever. Okay. Well, things are about to get kind of awkward. Because uh, of my fuckery. But let's do it anyway. And now to... Don't mind me. 
Not just trying to make you feel better. Oh, thank God. Yes. Okay, my fucker didn't amount to anything. I mean, Wang, I have three Genji beetles. Inaba Central Shopping District. I really hate that this is basically overwritten all music. I'm conversing with Nauta, you feel your relationship is going to come closer soon. Well... Our newfound power in hand, Kuka Lane. It's time to never see Shu ever again after this. <laughs> what? She looks hopeful. over as a family. I don't know, Shu. She still was really shitty. Shu holds back tears. Mister, thank you. I I didn't do anything. I feel like nothing's changed. I've accomplished nothing. I don't think anything's gonna change here. I'm proud of you. No, it's all you. <laughs> He smiles. About this. Chew. I. I'm not done. I feel like I'm not done here. Like, I've just gone through this half-cocked, and now I'm just tossed out. I'm going to think about my life and set my own path. I mean, that's cool, but there's the mom issue still, Shu. Because I just realized that. That's a lot to realize as a kid, Shu. Did you ever think? She laughs, embarrassed. Yeah. Sure is a tight bond. And I agree, Shrike. It's just like, man, I don't feel like I did. Hmm. I made a meaning meaningful change in Shu, yes, but the mom, I don't think, is going to change much. Just the illusion of change, because this just sounds like... I don't know. I feel like I've seen this before. More importantly, we can now fuse Shiva. <laughs> she laughs like a child. I mean, he is a child.
We can play baseball together sometime, though. Then your last session as a tutor talking with Shu. Oh man, this means that we no longer get the, the fucking 10,000 yen a night. Today is Labor Appreciation Day. Save the day off from school. All you can do now is wait and watch the situation unfold. What should you do today? Who's gonna call? Who's gonna call? Nobody call. Holy shit. Oh. Oh man. Oh my god, it's finally time. I know, right, Naren? It's fucked up. Having fun there, Rise. You moped. Hello. Huh? Oh man. Seems where he wants to go outside. And since you have Ketz Aquaddle, a persona of the Eon Arcana, you two might get along well. Thanks, Ketz. You're a peach. Yes. Let's go. Marie looks happy. Oh! You want to make new memories, you say? Better take Marie to your room. Got Marie to your room. Hmm. It's kind of a shithole, I know. Huh. Huh. Marie, it's just a room. Marie's looking around your room. What, what's wrong? I'm trying to memorize what your room is like, that's all. Okay. So this is where you live. It feels kind of funny. I mean, it's temporary digs. Marie seems to- Really? Okay. I now have another memory. Okay. A new memory that doesn't have anything to do with the old me. Hey, Marie. You prefer the couch, or should I spread out the futon? It really does make me happy. Look. I couldn't remember anything. I was And there's also a anxious. table, if you really want. I took it out on you. I'm sorry. But I'm okay now. Let's make lots of memories. Memories so fun, I won't care about the past anymore. There's also the desk chair, there's that too. Leave it to me. <laughs> well, yeah. I can't do it without you. I- it's true, there's nobody here. Uh, um, wanna go check out Dojima's room? So, you'd better lead the way. Marie smiles devilishly. Oh yeah. Here. I don't need to worry anymore, so I'm giving this to you. Finding my I mean, yes, Nanako's is, is off limits. That's that's completely way, valid. With you, right? Without a doubt. So, I want you to have this. 
Since Marie's passionate love. Chachi. <laughs> Ass man, ass man has forged a bomb that cannot be broken. Look, I'm just saying, Dojima probably has a nicer bed. All we got is a fucking futon. People see what they want to see, and believe what they want to believe. But I know you're different. No matter how thick the fog is, even if you're misguided by lies and illusions, I know you can find the truth. I'm cheering for you. Thank you, Marie. So, what do we do? Uh, unfortunately, Naren, Horny Jail isn't until Persona 5. You're gonna make new memories with me. In that it is Jail and right? Horny. Memories of the two of us. You and Marie spent a long time together. They made memories together. All over the house. Here's someone at the front door. Here from the show's arrived. Yeah! Chie! Mm. Ikiko, what are you wearing? You're also wearing the Mythos robe. Here. Become a tank. Okay. So what do we do tonight? Man. So, um, y'all can tell we're hard up for shit to do when this is how we spend our evening. I just, I feel the need to mention Yumi's dad is still dying. Time passed as you tied the, the Omikuji around the fortune tree. Getting late, so you decide to go home. You over here, students talking. Time to start buying up vitamin D supplements. That one kid, it's always that one kid. No, it's fine now, I'm gonna be spending time with you after school, but I need to go bug catching. I'm sorry, I don't mean to do you dirty like this. The bad news is that I can't go home yet, though. That's the crushing reality of a full-time employee.
Ma'am, you really shouldn't count your money with the Fibonacci sequence. You have the answer you think is correct. Give the correct answer. Your knowledge is increased. See, because we're gonna hang out with Nato today. That was the plan to begin with. But I want more bugs. I I want. How should I put it? Not a guarantee. Guarantee, but I want some wiggle room for fucking up. Is, is kind of the way I see it. Because we basically have, I think, six attempts total with our diligence. So, like, the less I have to reload, the better. <gasps> Doggo. Dog is still wary of you, but it seems to have calmed down a little. Can you do to put it off guard? Thanks, skewer. And if a dog gulp the food right down. Feels as the dog's up and up to you quite a bit. You try calling its name again? Mika-chan? It answered. The dog seems to be Mika-chan. You should go tell the lady in Okina who is looking for her Mika-chan. I don't know how that dog went from fucking Okina to here. So long that would perfect timing. How many bugs did we catch? How many did we catch? Did we get any Genji Beetles? Nope, 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 nope. None of those are Genji Beetles! Oh my god, Floodplain. I miss- I miss your affection a lot, chat. I went to the wrong place. Yeah, I just wanted more wiggle room is all, Elaine. Told her about the dog you saw at Sozo Daigaku in Inaba's shopping district. Mmm. Akara shirt. What's that do? Oh! Got a good passive, but the stats aren't really worth it at this point. Rock of Uh, tragically, the MC, the, the main character, our good buddy Assman Assman, cannot equip it, I don't think. Oh, they can. Oh, they can. Okay, let's head on over to...
Okay. Now to. Spend time with Naoto. Samagawa floodplain. The man in black you met before is waiting here. Fog has enveloped the area. I am Yakushiji, secretary of the Shirogane estate. I humbly apologize for the other day. I must also apologize. Though I may not have known, I involved you in this. It was an act put on by my grandpa. Thank you, Grandpa, for my getting us laid. My has been terribly saddened by Naoto-sama's state of affairs lately. Lacking acquaintances to confide in, she devotes every fiber of her being to work. My master wanted Naoto-sama to regain the joy she felt in days past. To regain the feelings when all that she wanted was to be a detective, regardless of her heritage or gender. <sighs> I involved you at my own discretion, believing you to be trustworthy. Please forgive me. It's fine, you were a fantastic wingman. I received this from Yakushiji-san. It's the final challenge. Card reads as follows. I did what you can't stand to at a place you'd be fond of, but underneath rather than inside. A place I'd be fond of. Somewhere high. You remembered. I didn't. The highest place around here is... The hill. Next, what I can't stand to do. There are several possibilities, but... Is it throwing things away? That's right. Did I mention that before? I don't know. Nato has an embarrassed smile on her face. Considering what's at the hill, the most likely answer is the trash can. Ah, so you found Yosuke's home, I see. I have an inkling of what might be there. Yosuke? Let's go, senpai. The hill overlooking town. Fog has enveloped the area. Why do you keep mentioning that? Seems there's something taped to the bottom of the trash can. I forgot this thing even existed. It's the last of the seven tools. The detective's pocketbook. <sighs> All the things I had forgotten about are packed in here. I think Grandpa wanted to remind me of them. This childish game. He's selfish indeed. Forcing me to recall all this now. I was trying so hard. Not to be underestimated. Not to be condescended to. <sighs> what? Calm down and upset now, though. If I solve this town's murder case, then everyone would accept me. They would acknowledge me as the fifth in the Shiragane lineage of detectives. That's what I told myself. I just wanted to be accepted. I wanted to be needed. That's why I fretted and stood on my tiptoes and focused only on solving the case. And then you went in the TV. But the original reason I wanted to become a detective was because it was cool. It was because mysteries intrigued me and I could help people by solving them. Shit, I was wrong. That's all. I remember now. Do you recall the time I faced myself in the TV world? Yeah, it was really awkward, actually. It was my task to accept the self who yelled, I want a reason for me to stay. Okay. But my reason to stay was not solely to solve the crime. It was to get laid. You, everyone, gave me a reason. You 
gave me a place to stay. Nando's trying to smile through her tears. I have to be an adult. I have to be a man. With that way of thinking, I was running from myself. What? I don't need to look for something to change or something to accomplish. I only need to have faith in myself. Yeah. I finally think I can accept myself. Except what? That I'm a woman. With huge honking titties. That I haven't yet become the detective I wanted to be. You know what, valid. I, I am a woman and a detective. Really, that took you this long? One who is seeking the truth with you and the others. In sense now to a strong will. Now she can die for me! When I'm with you, I become scared. I'm, I'm sorry I'm that threatening. Afraid that the instant I admit the truth, everything will spill out. Aw, oh, that's the best part. <sighs> but I need to say it. My true feelings. I love you. Thanks. Uh, anyway, that seems to be the truth. Cool. There's no turning back. The relationship with Nato has become intimate. I'm so embarrassed. I feel like I could die. Well, I'm not paying for the funeral. Pass a long while with Nato. The bench wasn't very comfortable, but you made do. You can work as janitor. Fuck no. Instead, we're gonna be doing more fortune slips. Nope. Uh, night's pretty much fucked at this point. It doesn't help, too, that we have capped out a large number of uh, social links at this point. Uh, currently, I think... Let me, let me, let me total up the numbers. The old Japanese calendar was different names for the months. September was uh, Nagatsuki, and October was Kanazuki. Yay! As it should, Shrike, as it should. It's me. I was buried in the biggest one. None of that weak shit. It's Cooper. I oh, know, man. I've always been a fan of what is it? I think like the seventh largest pyramid in the world. The Bass Pro Shop. Ah, 
Hi, Naoto. I understand that you can't resist the ass man, but please, I have things to do today? Like, not you. Oh. Where is she? Speaking of things to do... How's it going, Risa? Why- Risa, why are you s Chat, I want to take a second to appreciate- Why is Risa staring at that? Are, are you really just like so hard up for things to do? Okay. Hi, Risa. Okay, yeah, let's let's head out. Oh. I'm sorry, Risa, you're gonna have to forgive me for a second. I'll be right back. I'm sorry, Risa, I'm very busy. I got things to do. Okay, so... Oops, sorry. I accidentally bumped Ollie when adjusting my position. I'm sorry, Ollie, I'm sorry. Okay, so what we want to do is open... Okay, I'll put on some music. I don't, I don't feel like this song. What else is on this? Perfect! This is the perfect encapsulation of how I feel about this game right now. So give me ideas to how up my current affinities look. Not failing you. No. Fuck it! So yeah, here's how our current affinities look. So like, the investigation team never gets affinity. Uh, there's Yumi, who's still got two levels. There's the Fox, who's at level 9. I'm not playing- I, I'm, I'm telling you, Blue Lane, I'm not playing YouTube videos. <laughs> Cause those can get me in trouble. Let's see, so Margaret's at five, she doesn't have affinity. So who are we looking at? Rise. Rise, let's uh Oh no, let's let's bump you up briefly, tiny bit. Let's say oop, not that high. Twenty-five. Ah, it sounds like the dog is barking. So then... Uh, that's because they lose affinity when they level up. Uh, each one has different amounts of affinity needed for a level up. Of the social link, that is. So Yukiko has more than it looks. It's just, she's ranked 10. See, Chie is actually kind of a weirdo. Because Chie has a fuck ton of affinity. Because <laughs> I always seem to have a chariot in my uh, party. 
Uh, my boy Thor! What am I doing? Why did I come here? I don't go to school. Is it seriously still on it? I... Okay, I, ha I hit the wrong button, that's fine. There's nothing to see at the moment anyway. So let's see. Here's just trying to help us feel better. Also, it's not Cheat Engine. It, it is a special thing. <sighs> you know what? Fuck the place. Fuck it. What do you say fuck off? What? Oh, reset! Wrong way. Reset! Better not pull that fire alarm. Oh hey, our relationship with uh, Risa is gonna become closer soon. Weird. Uh huh. Um, downtown to pound town. I don't know. Go eat. Or not. Oh, hey, I remember these. These benches are very familiar. Senpai, I thought about it. And? Why my mind just went blank when I heard about Konami. I mean, I ran away from showbiz because I was tired of being an idol. So I shouldn't have had any problems. And yet, I felt so angry about it. Why do you think that is? Okay, so let's see. Ah, ugh, what? Really? Uh, cause Rosette's Rise too. Yeah. You knew all along, huh? <laughs> but really, that's how it was. Rizet's name in lights, idolized by the masses. That was me, too. I didn't want to lose that me. You say smiling sheepishly. There's no way to become someone else. I disagree. I ran away from my plain, gloomy self. Then I ran away from my idol self. Right now, I'm the homicide detective self, I guess. I would have run away from that as well if I didn't realize. I'm the you want to talk about murder self. I've been trying to become how I wanted to be. I pick a role. When I'm through with it, I continue chasing the real me by picking another role. What what about the weird stripper you then? When in fact those roles are all me. I don't want to run away anymore. I don't want to search somewhere else for myself. I'm gonna hang in there, as the complete me. They spoke her mind looking straight at you. And we didn't say a word. See, the only reason why the Persona protagonists get along so well with everyone is they're really good listeners. Like, really good listeners. Now she- oh, she can protect the party at times? Okay. Now we say we'll die for you. I'm glad I came to this town. After all, it's where I met you. Uh, it's, uh, nice, I guess? <laughs> I have to 
to go home now. What a shame. <sighs> I wish time would just stop. Walked recently to her house and went home. Oh, you don't even know, Max. Uh, it, Valentine's Day in this game is going to be an ordeal. And I mean that, like, completely wholly unironically. <laughs> Okay, so, like, the, I don't remember who the- oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. This is awkward. So the guide says, get a slip for, uh... Because you're weak, Wang. It's because you're weak. So. Going back to what I was gonna say. I- I- Wait, I just wanna... I love the way he just, like, folds up onto the screen, just like, whoop! Just rotates in. Whoop! 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 Okay, either way. So instead to pick a, uh... Pick a thing for Eri. And it took my brain a minute, like, who the fuck's Eri? Who's that bitch? I don't remember an Eri. And then I remembered... Oh, this is Eri, who we capped out on accident. Oops. When, when do we bone down with the old lady? God, we have so many capped out links at this point. See. So my favorite thing about the Saki's brother social link is a big part of that even from the get-go is like I'm so tired of everyone treating me as just Saki's brother and lo and behold it, the game lists him as Saki's brother. And yeah, as as Alulane said, the, the big reason for us not having Ch uh, Chachi, I did it again. Kanji that high is because he's always available <laughs> and he's easy to level up. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's play it safe, and I'm gonna. It's true, Chachi is very reliable. Almost frustratingly so when it comes to his job. Never hear students talking. I'm sorry, original sin, really? Mr. Kondo, your eyes always weird me out. What? Oh no. Go on. Hmm. 
which of these is considered a rice cake? Well, you see, it's it's mo mochi. No, Shark Vega, the fog is the stank, you see. Gave the correct answer. Yeah. Hey, hey, chat. Guess who we're hanging out with today? Hey, right, everyone in chat. Guess who's fucking who we're visiting today? Some might say. You mean Yosuke? Same Marathian, same. Yep. See? You know, I don't really need the persona at this point. But I should do it as a just in case. He has so much backed up affection though that I really don't need to do it. I 100% remember this being piss colored. Did they change it? Ho, it's time to go. Just so you know, chat, I am hot shit and I will crush that fucking rock with my bare hand. How I assert my dominance over the Jack Frost, you see? Hey, Yosuke. Yes, Gay looks happy. Still overlooking town. Yes, Gay brought you here. The fog has enveloped the area. I hated this place when I first came to Inaba. You can tell how small the town is from up here. But looking at it now, it's a nice town. <laughs> yes, Gay is smiling sadly. I, yeah, I can't see shit, Yosuke. Can you tell me what you see? Because I... I oof, your eyes are better than mine. Cheer... What? Really? If it were only that easy. Yosuke has a self-mocking smirk on his face. I want to tell Saki-senpai something. Well, then uh, let me throw you off this cliff. But what's important isn't where you are. This town I hated so much. Now I love it. I mean, there's still nothing here, but I have family and friends and you. <laughs> you're already. You just hit the button. It just says you're already in a relationship with other girls. Do you accept? The important things are never far off. They're all around you.
Yes, he seems a bit embarrassed. I always wanted to be special. I thought my life would finally have meaning if I was special to someone. That's why I was really excited when I got my persona. But I really didn't need it. It's not what you have or what you can do. Just being born, living your life. Before you know it, you're already special to someone. And that's always been kind of the weird thing about the Persona games in general, but yeah, this one's got it bad. It's, you don't have a life before this game. You're right. Yeah, like you. You're special to me, you know? You're already in a relationship with other girls. Hell yeah! I mean, that's, that's why I said especially Persona 4, Elulane. Because, like, 5 and 3 at least have excuses, which, like, 5 is basically everyone around you just fucking abandoned you after you became a criminal. And then, yeah, th uh, threes is you kind of just get thrown around because you don't really have a family at that point. In, in like, this one's excuse is, like, flimsy at best, which is you move around a lot because your parents, but also you were pretty popular at your old school. I mean, Aaron, my, my problem is, apparently you were relatively popular at your last school, so... Eh. He will not die for you. Alright. Let's see if we can find everyone's house from here. <laughs> Fucking good luck! There's Juness, and that's the main street, so... My house is there. The one with that funky roof. Yosuke, are you a wizard? How do you see these? I can't see shit. Meaning yours is... One hundred percent, Wang. It's been a long while with Yosuke. Quink. Can't believe they're fucking cowards for not letting us date Yosuke. Numbers, Wang. Numbers. Let's see, who do we want to pull for? God, our knights are so fucking dead. from school today. All you can do now is wait and watch the situation unfold. Final start tomorrow. GG duty day. Sh 
true, we haven't... Well, everyone, it's it's time for everyone's favorite day of the week. Lame. So lame. I mean, to be fair, that's that's so Tanaka. Like, it is a big Tanaka move of cashing in on the panic. I love Tanaka. Tanaka's a fun social link in 3. He's honestly probably one of my favorites from 3. Not because he's like a good person or anything, but man, I can appreciate that level of piece of shit. Like, it's, it's, it's good. It's fantastic how much Tanaka fucking sucks. Like, I think, I think three of, of the, the three modern Personas definitely had the most, like, I, I would say the best social links across the board. And it had some pretty interesting ones, and I, I still deeply appreciate Tanaka, where over the course of the, the social link, he teaches you to be a worse person, and he also becomes a worse person. He just learns to hide it better. Yo! Spend time with Yosuke. <laughs> Let's go. Yosuke looks happy. So this... Is this the part? Yeah, okay. I still don't quite understand this, and it's also very dumb. I fucking hate rank 10 of Yosuke's social link. Yosuke brought you here, a solemn look on his face. Fuck, he's enveloped the area. There's something I wanted to tell you. Somewhere deep down, I didn't trust you. No, it's more like... I was jealous of you. Is it because I get so much poon? I thought you were like me. But better. Coming from the city to the countryside, I thought you'd be bored out of your mind here. I mean, I know a guy you can talk to for that one. Let me tell you about my boy, Adachi. But as soon as you got here, you called your persona, became our leader, gathered people. You're a hero. And you aren't? I mean, granted, I sidelined the shit out of you, so probably, yeah, you're right. I like you for that, and I'm proud of you. But I guess I was jealous at the same time. Man, what was it, Junpei in 3, I feel like is a significantly better version of Yosuke. And I guess? I didn't realize it. When I called you special, I thought some more about it. I think out of everyone, I wanted to be acknowledged by you the most. God, so many of Five's social links were like lukewarm on a good day. So... I want you to hit me. Okay, any particular place where you want me to hit you? Give me a good one. Knock out all this crap inside like, of me. If you don't specify, I'm gonna punch you in the dick, and you won't like that. I want to be equal with you. I want us to stand shoulder to shoulder. 
so come on. I will hit you in the, the dick, so help me. And let's get equal. Huh? But I don't have a reason to hit you. Uh. I got it now. If we're equal, then I guess you're right. Okay, here I come. You brought it out with Yosuke. Oh, your punches are brutal. I was seeing stars there for a second. But thanks, man. I don't know how to say it, but that sure beat words. What? No. What? No. Yosuke, that was stupid. You can have this. <laughs> the buddy's bandage. Start bleeding. Put that on. You know, we should fight more often. No. Phew. This guy's so high up. Is Saki Senpai watching us? Is no. she smiling at us? No, she's dead, dude. She's in the fucking ground. Let's go. Senpai, I'm going to live without lying to myself, without deceiving myself. Days like today, days like before when I did nothing, they're all important days. They're all days you didn't live to see. Yeah, Kanji wouldn't punch us, chat, because Kanji's an incredibly good boy. I'm going to live them here. Okay, you you, you want to die in this town? Good luck. Yusuke is smiling gently. <laughs> Yosuke's strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart's true power. Not that it matters! This is my power? Yeah, it's pretty lame. The power to protect what's dear to me, huh? <laughs> Just what I wanted. Let's keep at it so we can live every day with a smile, leader. You feel Yosuke's warm trust, Wink. You feel a tight bond between you and Yosuke, Wink. Can I skip this? I want to skip this. I don't like this. This is like one of the worst rank 10s I've ever seen. I mean, I would almost argue, Naren, that you could take the homophobia and turn it into something more interesting. But here it's just like completely unironic. Yeah, now I never need to deal with Yosuke ever again, except in plot. I don't know, man. Get rid of, like, I don't know, Diorama, I guess. God, even his, like, Max Persona looks really dumb. Well, we're all counting on you, partner. Also, why doesn't he have any fucking fire spells if he's Susano? It's, it's a weird thing because, yeah, he's a lot, 
him and Teddy are both significantly more reasonable in the early plot. And then they just kind of get written real goofy in ways that don't feel good. Your garden looks sad, Wang, bitch. It's fine, Alulane. It's fine. Oh boy. Yo! I'll actually be back in one second. Uh, I need to get more water.
I do feel it worth mentioning also now that he is a teen too, so I... Like, that's always a little bit of a flimsy excuse, but I'd still argue it, it does explain some of his... ...goofiness. Junpei. I mean, Yosuke t I have met teens who act like Yosuke. I went to school with some! They were shitty people. Don't get confused by it, that's all. Yep, it's it's another one of those, everyone. Where we lose an entire week to testing. Yeah, exactly broken mind. Like, we've all done sh dumb shit as teens. I was... I got into fights. I was a particularly violent teen. Finals, day one. Um... Um... Don't... Don't tell the French I said this. But Italian food... Geometric shapes. To be fair, Max, I was also an awkward anime nerd teen, but I was also big and violent. It wasn't a great combo. I got along with most people, but I definitely got into fights. Finals day two. Yay! Granted, it helps that I've always been, at least I like to think, personable. Oh boy, another day of testing. Not a day that I can get any fucking fish. Fuck that. I fucking wish, Wang. Finals day three. Rydal. It's a cuckoo. Country does the South Pole belong to? The answer is nobody. There are agreements in place, actually. Oh, my mind is blown. Fibonacci! Delicious. My favorite kind of noodle. Give me your students talking. Hello, Ollie. How's it going, little buddy?
Give me a sec, I need to pet Ollie. I need to treasure this moment because it is rare and does not happen often. No, don't you dare bite me, little shit. Sorry, chat, I just, I can't resist. I hope you understand, chat. Finals day five. Uh, was it? Wasn't it like the rib? Mochi. He's having fun with a box. Man, this fog just won't quit. The weather report said it might start snowing soon. But what's going to happen if it snows with all this fog? That was Ollie playing with the box. Whoa, where'd you guys come from? Wow, that's quite a crowd you got there. We ran into each other back there, so we came together. The fog's so thick that sometimes you can't see your nose in front of your face, so everyone's forming groups now. Yes, Ollie. What you looking at? It's definitely been weird lately. It's so cold, too. Visibility's so bad, it's scary. You Can I stick close to you, Senpai? You say visibility's bad, but like Yosuke was able to see his house from up on the hill. And my house. And Juness. Oh, this girl never changes. It really is hard to see anything in this, though. It's just like on the other side. What? G guys, put on your glasses! Also, it's really great when you realize that every single girl here is Ass Man's girlfriend. When you put your glasses on, your vision becomes much clearer. Whoa, it's all clear. What the hell's going on? These glasses are meant to help us see through the fog in the other world. But putting that aside, no glasses would improve one's visibility in a fog under normal circumstances. Then, um... Could the fog from over there be leaking into our world? Huh? Well, you, you guys think that's it? I was kind of expecting you to ignore it as Chie being random again. <laughs> it's it's just a thought. <laughs> the mood darkens. Anyways, today's the last day of exams, right? Let's get them over with so we can meet up at the special headquarters after school. <laughs> wow, we haven't used that name in a while. Last day of exams, you answered every question with ease. The answers seem to be flowing from your hand. Seriously, why do we write that way? Like, really weird, limp-wristed writing style. There will be dramatic turns in the story from this point. It is strongly recommended you take the opportunity to save. I sure will! Are you implying that we're, we might get an ending if we do something? That's what it sounds like I'm hearing. Wait. Shit. Wait, is this... What day is this? Oh, fuck. 
Hey, here's a story about the fog. Oh, fuck. Um. Oh. Some specialists are raising concerns that this fog may consist of harmful substances. More and more citizens are calling for an investigation into the cause of the fog and the facts about it. The almighty fart. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pinpoint. What an auspicious day. Oh, is this fog really dangerous? You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Or here either. Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. But beyond that, I'm clueless. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. The suspect was having an affair with the first victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Also in April, Miss Saki Konishi's body was discovered. The police are looking into a motive for the murder. In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings, but later suspicion was thrown upon Namatame. Okay, okay, so like quick thing here, quick thing. Y'all remember when Namatame got here? Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. It seems Namatame is still confined to his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened. But all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? I mean, we there are still unanswered questions. Like, Namatame didn't have a shadow? But he also didn't have a persona. Which is interesting. And where and how did he learn to use the TV? What is the cause of the TV? Definitely not him. Did they prove anything? I'm sure your uncle can. Also, are you sure the first two murders were him? Because once again, he seemed very focused on saving people. But the stuff he was saying was so obviously nuts. Which, I mean, he was saving people. Indirectly, but he was saving them. At least as far as he saw it. Because nobody he threw in the TV died. If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. Yes, there are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? He seemed weirdly panicked about saving people. It's a possibility. To be fair, the Nanako kidnapping is still enough to fuck him up. Hell's up with that! We all know he did it! You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the but streets! Are you sure he killed those two? They better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. Saki-senpai. No, not just her. Or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. You sure? If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. Homie, that's not how that works. It's his fault Nanako-chan's in the hospital right now, too. Like, what was it? The copycat had been looking for an re looking for an excuse to make a name for himself. That's why he took. Why did the copycat killing and took credit for it?
What's the matter? The copycat killing was a means to an end. Tell the others about your promise with Nanako. A Katatsu? Oh, then why don't we go check them out right now? I know Nanako-chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new Kotatsu. Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up and we just got a bunch of them in stock. All right, off to the housewares section for Nanako-chan! Once again, every girl here is our girlfriend. Something to think about. If we're getting a Kotatsu, we better get some oranges to complete the set. Uh, I mean, I could go for some mandarins. It's a cliche because it's true, damn it. The best compliment to a Kotatsu would be a heated rug. Dude, that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. Oh yeah, you've never used a Kotatsu before, huh, Ted? It's nice and toasty. Can I still stay here? You kept your promise to me, so I should be going back. Please. Please go back. But I don't want to go until Nana-chan gets better. Of course you can stay. How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? You can say it, I won't. Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. But I couldn't save Nana-chan. You can't even save yourself. Don't be silly. We saved her together. The power of friendship. In this door I found. We caught the killer, man. We couldn't have done that without you. Teddy, you shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. With a gun and knife. You guys. I, I don't hate myself enough to say that. You can stay here. Sensei, I'm so touched. I'll stay by your side until Nana-chan comes no, home, no, no, Sensei. No, 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 I never said that. Oh, that's right. There's no one but you at your place. Yeah, I like it. Hey, why don't we pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it? Oh, that's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. All right, but none of this charge it to Yosuke stuff this time. Seriously, we're clear on this, right? No. Oh, come on. Why would we do something like that? Dude, the clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Ugh. It's because he's full of piss, Naren. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. You would be surprised, actually. What? What did you just say? Also, once again, this is like further, like... Social links happen in a void. They, them and the main story do not intersect. Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. Punch him in the dick. Punch him in the penis. Stay, Stay out, out of this! <laughs> Let's leave them be and think of a present for Nanako-chan on our own. But what would a girl her age want? A gun. What do you think Nanako-chan would appreciate most? Give her one of your guns, Naoto. I 
I mean... I know in my heart of hearts what she would appreciate. Because it's what I would appreciate personally. Which is a Jack Frost doll. Yeah, that, that white round shape's the best. A plush doll's the way to go. Exactly, Kanji gets it. All right, as soon as Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yes! And we'll bake the cake! Eho, let's fucking go! Of course! Let's make it a cake to remember. There is no cake in this group. Oh no, you're not! Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? Just, just let me make it. Hello, Adachi. this is Adachi. Um, I want you to stay calm and listen to me, okay? Nanako-chan's condition suddenly got worse. The doctor wants you to come to the hospital immediately. We'll be waiting. Come on, let's go! You heard the man. There have been voices throughout the hospital for some time now. Doctor, this fog is poisonous, isn't it? Isn't it filled with viruses? What does... What does that mean? They said so on TV. Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Ah, uh, yes, the anti-fog vaccine. Also, man, this hits real fucking different. Like, real different. Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down. You're lying. We know you have medicine for this. Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Dojima-san, you need to return to your- I mean, Naren, I think they were outside the room. I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. <sighs> Dojima-san! Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. Please save Nanako. Dojima will break if you don't. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. Nanako. Nurse accompanied Dojima back to his room. Hey, can't you do something? What does that mean, Yosuke? This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? I mean, Teddy doesn't even know what he is. I mean, it's obvious what he is, but he doesn't even know what he is. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but... Damn it. What does this have to happen to a little girl like her? Because the world is indifferent. I mean, I'd, I'd say calm down. How am I supposed to stay calm at a time like this? Can't believe this is happening. Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? Hey, Adachi. You guys still here? You here to be a fuck up again? How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over yeah, in his I'm room Yeah, I'm fucking now. shocked after the fit he threw. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. You're fucking cops. No, you won't. What's that mean? 
I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find them guilty in court. When has that ever stopped cops? Especially given the reason why we took them off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh yeah, something about him having an alibi. Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs. There's no way that'll stand up in court. No one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatama killed these people. And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? Okay, but what's this about an alibi? I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? He sure does. If you want to see that stuff so bad, we'll show you. Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it. Hey, stop. What the? Is Nanako Chan's family here? Hurry inside. Please talk to her. What the hell? What's going on? No. Nanako Chan. Daddy. Nanako-chan. Nanako-chan. Can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. Yeah, it's me, big bro. Oh. <laughs> Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. Well, I think this is going fantastic. Couldn't be oh. How's Nanako? Couldn't you bring him in a wheelchair? Like he had a wheelchair. Man, what the fuck? Doctor. <sighs> Big bro. Yeah, I'm right here. I do want to say, this hits real great looking at her fucking dead-eyed stare from her model. Big bro. Dead. She didn't have a shadow wang. Nanako! <clears throat> Nanako! I'm sorry, sir. No! <laughs> Damn it! Nana Chan. We did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. Dojima-san, what's with that look? Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? Huh? Wait, is, is Nanako-chan... 
But then, where did Dojima-san go? His room isn't that way. Wait a sec. That's the way to... Transported into the same hospital? For crying out loud, he's the suspect in the case! What are you getting mad at me for? This is the biggest hospital, and he's in no condition to be moved. I mean, why, why didn't you say anything? In case something like this happened, the details of a suspect's hospitalization are confidential. Now I'm not actually lying. Just tell I was us where distracted. He is I was looking something up. Kojima's son's on his way, ain't he? You don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him. Yeah, this is probably like the only real hospital for a little while around because this is the boonies. Kanji-kun, you don't mean. Yeah, hold on. Because Just I know how this turns about. out. Where's this room? <laughs> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. But there's a police guard. Damn, Adachi, how's it feel to get menaced by a teenager? Pathetic. Meanwhile, Nanako's hospital room. I. I was always watching over Nana-chan, and I still couldn't save her. It happened in my world. Even though I was the only teddy in that place, I... I still couldn't do anything. I... <laughs> teddy, give me the power of your healing tears. Let go of me. I need to speak to him. Like we said, without permission. Permission? Time for Dojima to pull rank. Who gave him permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? No, I... What the hell with you all? I hate that when I hear two in that a single syllable word, my brain is ruined. Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She's... 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 Uh, the only one in the world. I see how it is. Call a doctor! I see how it is, Dojima. Let go of me. I need to... Nojima, you're you're probably bleeding all over the fucking place right now with your wounds reopening again for like the fifth time. So maybe maybe cool it. Holy crap! Dojima son! Quick, get him to his room! I'll go alert the doctors! Dojima son. Was he seriously gonna... Yes. He was furious. People do dumb shit when they're angry. His only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. dojima sound probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatame would be convicted. And I'm painkillers, you're right, Shrike. Damn it. He killed Senpai. Probably some heavy duty yeah, ones from the sound of it. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did. That's not right. <laughs> Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? Okay, but the problem- Okay, so first off, yes, he is directly responsible for what happened to Nanako. 
do we know that he's the original killer? We haven't talked to him at all, and he was very deranged in the TV. I want to talk to him! <laughs> Are you... Are you okay, Namatame? You don't look so good. Are you okay? Uh, you have your life, and now you want your freedom too? He looks a bit like a villain, but he also looks incredibly burnt out. It's your fault that Nanako Chun's. I. I didn't. I. Twelve o'clock. Is it the midnight channel? Hey, isn't this? I failed to save her. It's, it's because, because you got, got in my, my way. way. Hey, look! Namatame Shadow! Another Namatame? Because remember, he never had a shadow when we went there. He just kind of freaked the fuck out. How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. He didn't beat a shadow. No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the... I failed. But it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? Is that what Namatami's really thinking? Then... He wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. I mean, this is very vague. We still don't know the hows and whys. Well, we know hows, but we don't know the whys. I will never forgive what you did! Yosuke, if you murder him, I... Or try to murder him, I'm going to punch you in the dick. This... Please... Stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you? Kanji... I mean, yeah, we, we've been over this. A shadow is like the dark thoughts inside yourself that you don't want to tell others. It's not the only thoughts you have, and they're not always completely true. They're usually warped a little bit. Yeah, no, he, he feels... I mean, he obviously feels guilt for it. Yeah, exactly, Shrek. Do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. But you, you're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. Mission? My god. Please, stop. Also, look at this man. He clearly hasn't slept a wink in fucking weeks. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? Yeah, no, like, Namatame was definitely trying to jump out the window. Even that it's open? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. We still don't know shit! Still, what are you going to do? We haven't tried talking to him. All we've done is yell at him. No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. Yosuke, fuck off. I... I understand, but... This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. But he was by the window, not the TV. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Are you gonna fucking murder him with the TV? Wait a second. You don't mean... 
Now to I what the fuck? Are you serious? You just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's but what what's gotten into you guys? This is crazy! How can we do something like that? Feels weird Chie. having Chie be the voice of reason. Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guys can yeah, get Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Nanako would be You'll thrilled knowing we're murderers, especially because of her. I'm sure that'd go great. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? Like, this is supposed to be an investigation, but we just kind of refuse to do the investigating part. An important part would be fucking interrogating him, which we have never done, even once. I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But... but... Yosuke... All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. Ah, uh, but you're still a murderer. J just p push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. I mean, we haven't been in a, like, a position to ask him anything, but also the second we entered this room, we started yelling at him as he was clearly having a fucking breakdown. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? Wait a second. We don't have time to wait. If we don't do this now, the cops will come back. What are you trying to say? We're missing something. Something we don't know. What don't we know? Namatame's true feelings, you fucking idiot. But we just heard the guy's true feelings on TV! No! What didn't you understand? Something's bothering me. Well, what is it? I already told you there's no time to waste. I am... Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? Hey, Yosuke, you want to be punched in the dick? We're missing something. Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it, I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer. Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. Calm the hell down, please. You're being a dipshit more so than usual. <laughs> He's right. Let's all... Calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. No, you are freaking the fuck out. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. Uh, take ten deep breaths, actually. It's a good way to calm down. After what happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. Fine. Everyone took a deep breath. Exactly, I've been working that cool at meter for the whole fucking game. Seems that everyone's finally regained the composure. You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. Yes! Fucking Christ! There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. What? There's more to it. But other than that point, 
The rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. What do you mean, we? But! Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. As he keeps screaming. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. Was it? How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? But... Okay, so the people we know who he threw in were in fact saved. He was correct, actually. Is the thing, Yosuke. Not in a way that's good or meaningful, but he was correct from his point of view. Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. <clears throat> Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Yeah, he also, like, definitely knows fucking nothing about the TV. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere, anything. Let's, let's just think for now. Don't be an edgelord. Jeez, how the hell can you stay so calm, man? Because I'm not stupid. Then again, that's why you're our leader. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. Also, Yosuke, please, it's my cousin who died, not yours. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. All right, I'm convinced. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. Oh, no. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. <laughs> Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? I, I just appreciate how Yosuke has managed to make this all about him. Right, together. Yeah. Hi, I'm here too. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks. You sure fucking did, Way. The case has taken a sharp turn. The investigation team is now one step closer to the truth. It seems that you will go on with your friends to solve another mystery. Oh man, is it time for us to hit Max Fool and then become Judgment? Is it Judgment time? Uh, I'd argue maybe a little more than 20 Wang? We'll see. Is, uh, to, to spoil it for everyone, there are three dungeons left. And we are going through February, so... Ass man, ass man has forged a bond that cannot be broke. Actually, you know what? I want to take a second to take the screenshot. Because everything about it is perfect. We got ass man, ass man has forged a bond that cannot be broken. We got in the background, everyone gathered around as a man has a fucking breakdown. It's fantastic. Ooh, we can make sh uh, Loki. Yes, it's time for judgment. Uh, to be fair, everyone, that is a very bad horn. Let me 
trumpet. Hey, you guys? What are you doing? You can't be in here. Oh, crap! We were keeping an eye on the suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's Just reputation. Just mention the open window. And their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, I see. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. And do something about the fucking windows. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. Adachi, for once I actually appreciate you. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. I get that you're trying to save face, and also maybe give the man a sedative. He seems fine for now, but he really needs his rest. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. Understood. We should go, too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. Still haven't asked the man a single question. So what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me, too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? Also, to clarify everyone, uh, had we actually gone through with that, that would have taken us down the, I think, bad and neutral routes. Oh, excuse me, it would just take us down the bad route. The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Uh, no, Wang, it's- it's an ending. Maybe he faked it real well. What? That's weird, Yosuke. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. Y Yosuke, you're really bad at reading between the lines, aren't you? Do you- do you suck at reading comprehension? Because it- it sounds like it. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Yeah. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Yeah, it was perfectly consensual. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her. He it's didn't still have possible one. That he was crazy to begin with, and no one realized, right? He would have gone undercover. Like, he would have hid that for a long fucking time, did he say? Uh. I don't really get any of this. Oh, this is so confusing! No, he, he definitely seems to have snapped from desperation more than anything. Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Thank you, Adachi. Oh, there you are, all of you. Eh? Please come with me immediately. Got it, coach. Huh? What's going on? What are you waiting for? Hurry, go! What's happening is a miracle. Where am I? You're in the middle of a metaphor. Is this 
Teddy's world? A giant, very obvious metaphor. This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I remember being at the hospital. That's right, Nana-chan. I... I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. Th that's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Yep. Guys, Sensei, what should I do? So, to, to clarify... Hey, where's Teddy? Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. Huh? What did you just say? Nanako-chan's alive? Congrats, she's now an undead. Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. What kind of doctor are you? She was obviously dead. So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako-chan... <laughs> oh my god... I... I... I still say she's an undead now. <laughs> this is amazing! Teddy's actually a necromancer. Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I... I didn't know what I was gonna do! <laughs> come on! Stop crying, you two! You all should go home for the night. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. Now tell me how to live my life. Wait a second, where's Teddy? I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. You're right. That's weird. I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. Why? I'll try calling him up once we're outside. Why can't you use your phone in the hospital? Is it just bad form or something? Teddy not found. Oh, there you are. Thank you, room 404. I forgot to tell you. Don't pull that again, okay? You can't just meet with the suspect like that. Anyway, I came to give you an update on Dojima-san. His wounds opened up a little, but he's treated now and he's fast asleep. Thank you. He'll be alright, don't worry. Adachi, sometimes you actually make me respect you. Knowing him, by this time tomorrow, he'll be on his feet and yelling at people again. Uh, don't tell him I said that. I like you, Adachi. Anyway, I heard Nanako-chan's on the road to recovery again. You guys were being so dramatic that I got really worried. But this is good news. She'll be well again in no time. By the way, you're all alone at the house now, right? Well, enjoy your freedom while you can. Dojima-san and Nanako-chan will be back soon after all. Since Adachi's concerned for you. 
Man, it's kind of interesting how all of Adachi's rank ups are, uh, plot. Or Adachi socially, he's reached level 8. Hell yeah! Well, I better head back. You go home too, before it gets too late. Uh, see ya! I can't wait for Adachi to become our next party member. Couldn't save. Uh, yep. I if you did not have Adachi 7 by now, uh, it would have locked you out completely. December 3rd is a powerful day. Why? Mayumi. And that girl too. I couldn't save them. Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? Just once again, never once actually talked to Namatame. There was just every interaction has been everyone yelling at him, but no actual discussion. Just want to mention that. We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. Oh, it's snow. Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. You you have... Oh, you don't have the glasses on. I guess this on. makes it the first snow of the year. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. Hey, Yosuke, if you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. I just didn't realize that this entire plot point happened on December 3rd. Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. Well, see you tomorrow. Later, loser. Back in Namatame's room, was it really right to stop everyone from what they were about to do? Yes, it was! This is a fucking terrible moral quandary. It's utter garbage. You remember that your cell phone has been off this entire time since you were in the hospital. Ooh. Oh. Thank you, Ko and Daisuke. These two are good pals. Thanks, Daisuke. Here they have friends who are there to help each other. Help encourage each other, excuse me. This case is still mired in an impenetrable fog, but you must continue forth towards the truth. You should go home before you catch a cold. Ah, still nice and alone. Sorry, I'm reading some stuff. Oh, it looks like we are stuck in auto links for a while. Hell yeah! Not gonna be alright. Then there's what happened at Namatame's hospital ward. The snow had started to fall and the fog that went disappear. What lies ahead from here on? 
feel very tired. Should hurry and get some rest for today. Rest. Welcome. It's been quite some time. Seems that you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. Again. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. Now then, your journey has taken you quite a distance thus far. Do you believe you'll be able to successfully solve this mystery? I can solve it. Splendid! The precise destination of this vehicle, ah, that too is getting rather hard to judge. If we continue driving blindly, we may end up leading you further away from the mystery that you must reach. Well, why don't we take a moment to look back on your journey? It was for that purpose that I summoned you here tonight. Margaret? Voices you've heard many times echo in your mind. Yeah, well, I quit pretending. What's right? What you should choose to do in life? The answers to those things lie within you. Margaret, this is kind of fucked. I'm going to think about my life and set my own path. I was scared, but I've learned my lesson now. I won't just try and escape into my own personal time. We are experiencing the words engraved into your memory during your journey. Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. <laughs> Yeah, of course it's Yosuke saying that. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Kanji, you're only a rank two. Why are you here? I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. Eh. And it seems you have comrades with you as well. Those heading in the same direction through this dense fog. I feel like next time I play this, I'm going to need... Like, next time I play this, next time I uh, end up in the dungeon and save at the start of it, I'm going to need to park my fucking ass at the start so I can do... Ugh. I need to get the Margaret shit out of the way, but like... That's an entire social link that I need to do on screen, and it's so we'll frustrating. For the moment, while I confirm our current heading, I'll probably cheat in money just for that, because that's. As I mentioned previously, this Ugh, year fuck. will signal a great change in your life. Oh, you missed it, Wang, when I bought fifty. Ah. Though there isn't much time left, it can be worth your while to take the time to stop and reflect. People are like water flowing in a river. There is only one stream, but all who pass through it are affected differently. Some travel fast, some change their course, experiencing countless events as they travel down the river of time. Just so. The state of this room reflects the scenery of your heart. My heart is a car? Perhaps this may be a time for contemplation rather than action. God, why is my fucking heart this bougie ass limo? Why does my heart have a mini bar? Ring -a ding ding Seems like you've been sleeping until now. You hear the doorbell ringing. Someone seems to be at the door. Teddy's missing. 
I looked all over the neighborhood, but I couldn't find him anywhere. Uh, I'm worried. Yeah, me too. He was acting all weird lately. Rise and the others are checking inside the TV to see if he's gone back to the other side. We're meeting pretty soon, so will you come with me to Juness? I will accompany you. Okay, hey, so you decided to go look for him. It's no use, man. We can't find him. No luck for me either. I didn't sense anything over there. The fog's so dense, it might be affecting my readings. I wish I could do better. I'm sorry. Uh, Ted. Don't tell me he really went back to his world this time. We told him over and over that he could stay here. I mean, to, to be fair, to be fair, the fog won't fuck up your lungs quite the same way smoke will. As someone... So let me tell you about driving in incredibly dense fog, and how good that feels. Let's think about it. I guess that's all we can do right now. Use your brain! He plays dumb a lot, but he's attached to us deep down. He wouldn't disappear without saying anything, right? I mean, Yosuke, you ever notice the one really weird thing about Teddy, like, right when he disappeared? I'm worried for Teddy myself, but let's trust in him and await his return. Right now, we must concentrate on the case. It won't be long before Namatame is transferred to another location. We must hurry, or we will miss our only chance to get his perspective on this. You know, I've been thinking about the case since, but something just doesn't seem right. Let's quickly review the facts. Of all the victims, only two were killed. Miss Yamano the announcer, and Saki-san. From the documents we found in the car, we know Namatame had some sort of dealings with them. After that, there were multiple attempted murders in which we were targeted. It was only when he took Nanako-chan that we caught him in the act, identifying his modus operandi in the process. I wanna hear you put it like that. Sounds like the dude's guilty. As a result of Namatame's arrest, the police admitted that Mitsuo Kubo was a mere cop. Back up to yesterday. Remember when you said Namatame didn't have a motive to kill the announcer? That's what's bothering me. Right. Either he's completely nuts, or we're misunderstanding something. I mean, did you ever think that his, his desire to save people came after the incident? You lost me. She's trying to say that if Namatame is sane, then there may be facts in the case we don't know about yet. Sane or insane? Sounds like a play I saw before. When he talks about saving people, what does that actually mean? I don't think there's any doubt that it includes kidnapping people and throwing them into the TV. Could he mean saving them through death? He did call himself a savior, and said that the other side is a wonderful world. So they'll be saved if they die? What a bunch of crap! The bastard should have gone and saved himself! Once again, none of you died! What do you think, senpai? If you think about it normally, it's gotta be him. <laughs> but there ain't nothing normal about that world anyways. There's something I've been wondering about for a while. I mean, even if you take him at face value, Wang, you need to understand that from his perspective, which they're not thinking of, everyone involved was saved. Every person he threw in had been saved. When we first encountered him, he said, You're the ones I saved. Don't worry, I'll save this girl too. So, um, if he saves people by killing them, did he save us too? Wouldn't he actually have failed to save us? You raise a good point. If he thinks that salvation comes only through death, his words to us make no sense. 
And another thing, the Namatame who appeared on the Midnight Channel said he failed to save Nanako-chan. Well, maybe he really was trying to save the victims by putting them inside the TV. C come on, don't get all quiet like that. You guys know I just say the first dumb thing that pops into my head. The possibility that he truly intended to save us. Not one day, Dragomation, two days. But he's still the one who threw in Saki-senpai in that announcer, right? No. We don't... No. Sure, we haven't nailed down his motives, but that doesn't change the fact that he killed them. Or what? You think someone else was involved? What? Name of the cul culprit besides Namatame. Could there be something that proves this possibility? I mean, obviously Namatame's diary. <laughs> But that points straight at Namatame. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, what's Misu Zutharagi's alibi? Her alibi? Wasn't it airtight right from the beginning? How could she kidnap people and throw them into TVs if she's out of the country? I need to come with more dumb ideas. The warning letter. Warning letter? Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to that thing? If Namatame's the killer, he must have been the one who wrote it, right? Let's review them. You recall the first warning letter said, Don't rescue anymore. The second one said, If you don't stop this time, someone close to you will be put in and killed. Yes, that's right. Isn't that kind of odd? Would someone who thinks he's saving people by killing them write stuff like, Don't rescue or kill? Yeah, and the will be put in and killed part doesn't make sense either. If the killer was writing it, wouldn't it be more like, I'll put in and kill? Hey, could this mean... Namatame didn't write it. Yeah. It's almost like someone else wrote this letter. But only the killer would write such a letter and deliver it to Dojima-san's house, right? If someone else wrote it, that could only mean... Dear God. Since this is such an unusual case, I was absolutely convinced that other than the Kubo incident, there was one culprit. So, Namatame really was trying to save his victims? Everything is exactly the opposite of what it first seemed. What? In Namatame's parlance, failing would have been the first two cases when the victims died. If he had used his method twice and failed both times, he would hardly have continued using the TV. And yet he did. It all seems to suggest that someone else wrote this warning letter while observing the entire case. Someone else? Then... It wasn't Namatame that killed Saki-senpai and the announcer? We can't say for certain yet. We urgently need to speak with Namatame face to face. Y'all work together to take another step towards the truth. Right two, right two, yeah! How though? After what happened yesterday, they said they're gonna tighten security. I have a plan. But there's no time to waste. Let's hurry to the hospital. Hey, this place is off limits. I'm a consultant with the police. I'd like a few words with Namatame-san. May I go in? This is Unit 252, requesting confirmation on an ID. Name of Naoto Shirogane. Huh? Ah, understood. I see. Well, you're on the list. I can give you a few minutes, but I'll have to record your conversation with him for security purposes. Not that I expect you'll get anything coherent out of the guy. He's been spouting nothing but gibberish. I'd like him to accompany me as well. <laughs> don't, don't tell them that Dasman's your boyfriend. <laughs> they can't know. He has no identification, but this is an emergency situation. And he's here in Detective Dojima's stead. Huh? Detective Dojima sent him? I wasn't informed of this. 
I'll vouch for his identity. Well, I guess it's better than dealing with the man himself. We have our hands full with the transport procedures, so the last thing we need is Detective Dojima running wild. Detective Adachi is busy somewhere, too. This is Unit 252. Huh? I hate... I, I hate... See. The walkie-talkie noises. Not walkie-talkie, the... Radio noises! Wait. Has something happened? Feels in the ears. There's something about a suspicious object out in the lobby. Ah, well then. This works out nicely. You should back up your colleagues downstairs. We'll keep watch over Namatame-san. A disturbance in a hospital lobby, after all. It sounds serious. If anything happens, such a load of shit. I'll leave the rest to you. Man, now tell you're not even trying to hide it. Please be careful. I knew they were undermanned, but I didn't expect it to go this smoothly. Wow. How did How did y'all get past that cop? There's nothing much inside that suspicious object. So he won't be gone long. All right. Then now's our chance to talk to Namatame. Namatame-san, there's something we'd like to ask you. It's tempting to think that you were the culprit behind this entire case. And to be honest, there are many in this town who hope you are. I have no clue, Tyrion. But we are here to learn the truth. So please, answer our questions. Huh? Seems that he understands what you're saying. What should you ask him? Who did you throw in first? Ask him. Did you kill those two girls? They were killed. I couldn't save them. Is saving killing people? No. If nobody saves them, they'll be killed. That's why I put them in there. Then tell me if my estimation is correct so far. After discovering the Yamano and Konishi incidents, you realized an appearance on the Midnight Channel meant certain death. Thus, to save her from that fate, you kidnapped Yukiko Amagi. You couldn't let her be killed, so you threw her into the TV, preventing the killer in this world from reaching her. And you repeated the process, as more individuals appeared on the Midnight Channel. It all falls into place. His body is weak, but his mind is sound. He's trying to tell us the truth. Yeah, but if the stuff he's saying is true... There's another killer who murdered the first two victims? Didn't we just figure that out? Indulge us in a few more questions. Who... why did you enter the TV? No, no, who killed the first two? I have no idea. I want to know that too. Why the warning letters? What are you talking about? Should you ask him, why did you enter the TV? I didn't know. I never thought it would be that kind of place. As I thought. 
You... believe me? Did they find him? Did they find the one who did such cruel things? My Yumi... Please calm down. Our ability to find the culprit rests on you. We know about the other world. In fact, we're the only ones who can fully understand what you have to say. Only... you? We did blame you for everything at first. Because you were idiots? But now I think we can accept whatever you got to tell us as truth. Now that you've decided to calm down and not be an idiot? Yeah. Kanji's jacket is pretty good. Tell us everything you can, calmly and slowly. You're willing to listen? Do my story? I'm sorry to tell all of you this, but that sounds way too cool for Persona, especially because it has an established formula now that's very popular. All right. Soon after my affair with Mayumi became common knowledge, I returned to my parents' home as if to run away from the scandal. So to be fair, it's not to say Persona can't be good, it's just, um, that's probably never what that'll be. I have- I started drinking heavily to drown my anxieties. I have high hopes for the next one. I hadn't been able to reach Mayumi at all, and that didn't help either. Mayumi, where are you? She'd been disgraced on all the afternoon shows and forced to resign from the program she was on. It's great too, because the two of them didn't really do anything wrong. I caused her so much trouble. I want- Whoops. I lost the will and energy to do anything. I caused her so much trouble. I wanted to at least apologize to her, but I couldn't even do that. Then, one day, the rumor I heard some time ago came back to me. Since I had nothing better to do, I sat down blankly in front of the TV and watched my own reflection. And all of a sudden, there was Mayumi. Mayumi? Is that you? The Mayumi inside the TV looked as if she was calling to me for help. Mayumi? Mayumi! When I reached out unthinkingly to touch her, my arm disappeared into the TV, as if I had dipped it into a pool of water. TV hungry. I was so shocked that I lost my balance and nearly fell face first into the TV. I was terrified by the noise I heard. Just he ho. I was so scared. I couldn't understand what just happened. I thought maybe I'd gone insane. In the end, I decided to think of it as just a dream, and I went back to the city the next day after finishing work. The next afternoon when I got to work, I was fired on the spot, as I expected. That wasn't what broke me, though. It was Mayumi. Being found dead. And not just that, but it had happened in my hometown. Amatame is casting his eyes downward painfully. I was dumbstruck. But later on, I remember the image of Mayumi I'd seen that night. Was it not a dream? Could it really have been an SOS from Mayumi? I hadn't touched another TV because the first time was so terrifying, but... I decided to try it again. Living in fear of TVs. And I confirmed that none of it was a dream. So that image... Was it something Mayumi showed me, calling for help? That's how I felt. And eventually, you learned of the Midnight Channel. I remember that when Mayumi was alive, 
She was chasing a rumor about some bizarre TV program. I don't need to look up Max Headroom Shrike. I, I am one of those individuals who says Max Headroom is the original VTuber, and I will stand by this. I'd heard about it before, but I thought it was just an urban legend. But then Mayumi appeared on it, and later turned up dead. The more I thought about it, the harder it became to believe that the two events were unrelated. No, Elulane, the, the parents just work overseas. Soon after that, I came back to Inaba to answer the police's questions. I'd lost my job, and I wanted to know the truth of Mayumi's death for myself. Then, on another rainy night, someone else appeared on the Midnight Channel. It was- She looked like she was calling for help, just like Mayumi. The first thing that came into my mind was, maybe this girl will be the next to die. And that was Saki-senpai. I'd been following all the news about Mayumi, so I noticed right away that she was the girl who found Mayumi's body. And if my hunch was right, she'd be the next victim. I didn't want her to die the way Mayumi did. So I desperately kept watching. I was consumed with the idea of rescuing her. Then, little by little, her image on the screen came into sharper focus. Uh, so it's not that the ones to Juness led to a safe place, it's they led to a place. And then they realized, oh shit, hey, if we want to be able to figure out getting around anywhere in here, we need one consistent spot, which is why they always go through Juness. It became sharper? Because they know it is safe. It is not a mystery. <sighs> how did you find out it was her? Finding Teddy was just lucky. Or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. After I came back, my father couldn't bear to see me in such low spirits. And gave me a job with the family business. I met that girl when I delivered a package to the liquor store. After agonizing over it, I decided to meet her, and told her to be careful. Correct, Wang. Well, no, it wasn't going through a different TV found the crazy newsroom. Um, it was specifically but going through Juness TV, and then the Teddy TV. showing them to the one spot where another person had been. She looked as if she was being engulfed by some black shape. She was writhing in pain. That's why I warned her. Why won't she pick up the phone? Come on, please. The next day, they found her dead. <sighs> I knew she was gonna be murdered. But I couldn't save her. I blame myself, thinking there must have been something I could have done. There was no one who depended on me. Nobody at work. Not even my wife. Mayumi was the only one who accepted me for who I was. But she was murdered. And the same person killed another girl. I was... I was beside myself. I couldn't forgive myself for doing nothing. You really did love Miss Yamano. Why was that ever in question? Yes. From the bottom of my heart. Before I was married, my wife made it big in show business. I was happy for her, but it put a strain on our relationship. I think I can kind of relate. It was around that time when I met Mayumi. She was interviewing our candidate for the next election. She was a big name announcer, but she only worked with local stations, and her attitude towards work was similar to mine. We both came from Inaba, so she was easy to talk to. I mean, I so it was wrong. He was I couldn't help getting intimate with her. The thing is, like, he's he was unfaithful for like very understandable reasons. She gave meaning to my life. 
Soon after Saki-san was found dead, yet another girl appeared on TV. Sometimes people change, circumstances change, and things start to crumble little by little, and then... That was you. She'll be kidnapped next, and murdered. I can't let her end up like Mayumi and that other girl. This time, I'm gonna do something. Yeah, exactly, Shrike. My opponent was a murderer who left no clues to his identity. Sometimes you meet the right person at the wrong time, basically. I thought hard about what I could do to protect her from someone like that. Oh, yes, no, no, divorce would definitely not go great with their image. I'll never convince her. If she gets suspicious and they arrest me, who'll save her then? The girl inside the TV looked as if she was smiling at me. And that's when it hit me. I apparently had the power to go through the TV screen to the other side. Then, what if I put her into the TV and give her shelter there before the killer gets her? What are you trying to tell me? That it's safe over there? Is that it? The girl inside the TV seemed to smile at me again. And I thought, no matter what kind of place it might be, it's better than being slaughtered. Okay, but I do like the idea of Namatame trying to shove someone in the TV for the first time and just ramming them straight through the fucking TV. Once things calmed down, I could just let her out again. If she's inside the TV, there's no way they can find her. It felt as if everything was starting to come together in my mind. Could it be that Mayumi gave me that power to prevent any more victims from meeting her fate? So yes, he, he just huge misunderstanding, basically. Was it my mission to save people? That we just happened to reaffirm over and over again. But there was a big problem. If I explained the situation to the victim, they wouldn't understand. I had already tried that and failed miserably. It seemed the only thing I could do was to take them away. If that was my mission, I'd just have to do it. Or so I thought. Uh, no. Okay, so to clarify, Tyrion, there is the initial broadcast, which is of a vague figure that is showing them. And then after they're in the... T uh, then after is when the, the shows start, quote-unquote. Mayumi, please lend me your strength. But yes, the first one's always so, more like a warning. You thought people who appeared on the Midnight Channel would be killed, you kidnapped us in order to save us. Mission? Give me a break! You never stopped and wondered about any of this? I thought I was the only one who could help them. I did call the police, but they didn't believe me. To be fair, also, Namatame was not in a good place either here. I knew the area well, thanks to my job. I had a large truck, and I could move around without suspicion. I thought my job as a delivery man would be the perfect cover for my mission. I thought no one else could do it. But are you telling me that I wasn't saving them? Oh, 100% broken mine. If a person is still within the TV world when the fog appears here, they will die. My point is just, people are more likely to do stupid shit. Or not self-reflect a whole lot when they're in a bad place. Beginning with Yukiko-san, the people you thought you had been saving were, in fact, in mortal peril. It was my friends here who really saved us all. It was me. I had a feeling that was it. When I went after that little girl and entered the TV myself, 
For the first time, I had some doubts about myself. You refer to Nanakarchan, correct? The police were after me, so I had to get away. But I still felt I needed to do everything I could to save that poor little girl. That's why I went in after her. Pretty much. Exactly, Naren. The TV world was completely different than I imagined. Such an abominable, grotesque place. I knew that the three of you who I saved went back to your normal lives, so I didn't realize how terrible that world was. As I said before, us helping everyone just reinforced this in his mind. Not to say we shouldn't have helped them, because we did the right thing. But also, it just didn't help him specifically. And only helped him dig further into his own delusions. I never knew. You couldn't even get out of that place on your own. No. That's a cowardly way to put it. I'd probably already begun to realize that it was a dangerous place. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have gone to see you all. See us? Wait, are you talking about the concert we did at Juness? Yes. I wanted to know why the ones I saved were all hanging out with each other, and how much you remembered. Is it me or does his voice sound different? But in the end, I couldn't bring myself to say anything and ran home. I must have felt too guilty. Yeah, I feel like this is new because the voice is different. <laughs> but all the doubts and anxieties I'd been unconsciously suppressing exploded out when I entered the television myself. I thought I was going insane. I probably did. And you know the rest. When I came to, I was lying in a hospital bed. You really were trying to save people. But I ended up doing just the opposite. Oh, what a fool. I always wanted to enter the world of politics and become useful to society. But after losing my job and the woman I loved, all I had left was this power. I convinced myself that world was some sort of sanctuary. And I secretly believed myself to be a hero. Also, yes, the, the, the reason the voice shifted is because they were talking about the concert, which was entirely new for Golden. It's good. I never doubted what I saw on TV and believed everything was as I wanted it to be. I didn't think for myself at all. That's why I couldn't protect them. I'm to blame for all of this. What's done is done. I suppose so. But the things I've done are too serious to be brushed aside like that. Oh, no, exactly. But also, arguing what ifs is pointless. It's already happened. I have no intentions of running away from my crimes. I'm prepared to face the consequences. Kidnapping is already a serious crime, and on top of that, I put all those lives in danger. No, it was a lot less than that, Wang. I'm sorry. The Midnight Channel and the Other World? You can hardly be blamed for failing to understand them properly. We must apologize to you as well. Had we let our emotions blind us to the truth, we would have piled all the responsibility on you. I guess from your point of view, people did stop dying once you started saying. Oh my people. god, you finally realized it, Jesus! The more you did it, the more you really believed you were preventing their deaths. I'm vindicated! I'm such a joke. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little tired. What, what are you all crammed in here for? My apologies. We'll be leaving now. Wait. I beg you. Please, find whoever's behind this. You children are the only ones who know about that world. 
That's the plan. It's all clear now. He never committed any murders. It was another party who threw the first two victims into the TV. Yes, cop is just listening here, confused. Wow, rank three. Now get out of here! I told you, he's almost ready to be transported. We can't have anything else happen. Sheesh. I better not see you rascals here again. <laughs> Nanako-chan looks like she's in pain. She's fighting for dear life. This was the last place we saw Teddy, right? He was so worried about her. How can he flake out like this when we have to find the real killer? Anji, think for a second. The police consider the matter closed. We'll have to do all the investigation from here on out. Let's revisit Saki-san and Miss Yamano's incidents and see if we can turn up fresh details. But it's been over six months. Wouldn't the trail be cold by now? Uh, honestly, so chat real quick. Honestly, one of the big selling points of the Vita was fucking Persona 4 Golden. I know, but we can't give up. We're the only ones who understand what's really going on. And you never know. People might remember some things now because they've had so much time to think about it. Let's split up and talk to people all over town tomorrow. We'll meet up in the evening to discuss our findings. I hope we can find out something about Teddy, too. Oh boy, I look forward to learning who the real villain is. Bro, you'll all be going out to talk to the people in town. Let's finally help uh, uncover the information that will lead you to the true culprit. So I had to go home early today and get some rest. Okay, so it's nor nearing the normal five hours for Persona, and I am intensely debating, hey, do I want to do the next bit so we can see who the killer is, or do I hold off? Because with the learning the killer bit, there's also an ending we can get, which I have never seen, so I'm kind of curious about it. Which is part of why I want to save it for next time. Because that would take a while. So yes. I also quite like the villain. But. Yeah, I think this is a good place to end it for now. God, we are almost at 80 hours. And we still have three dungeons to go. a sec to read something. Yeah, we can, we can end it here and then Max can suffer and next week we'll, we'll learn who the villain is. Maybe get a, a bad ending. Well, bad quote unquote ending. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think You may know who did it, Max, but have you do you know the the golden content? Yeah, I, I I will call it here. Well then, Max, that's what vods are for. 
<laughs> there is so much fucking plot still. Oh my god. Oh. Because normally we, we'd be nearing the end. Not the end end, but nearing the end. But... But, for the time being... Thank you, dog. Thank you. Y'all can argue about the Vita elsewhere. I, I will say this. I hope y'all had fun. I know I did, at least. Oh, God. I, it feels, like, it feels fucking weird. Like, the... The end of Persona is in sight. It's a ways out, but I can see it on the horizon, and it feels fucking weird. But yeah, so... Stretch. I hope y'all have a good rest of your day, however much that may be. I think I'm gonna go take a nap, actually. I'm- I'm kinda tired. Later, folks. Have a good one.